Dairy is unique in a sense that it's very approachable to most people and it's something I guess almost everyone in America incorporates into their daily diet. And unlike a lot of the other things I eat on my diet, n noting the approachable standpoint, it's a food that most people eat. And it's also worth mentioning that it is nutritionally complete. You can only consume dairy products, uh, more specifically, uh, depending on the protein and nutrient ratio. Uh, but yeah, you could have a nutritionally complete diet with solely dairy products. So it's not like uh, they're just like part of a nutritious diet and it's just like an approachable addition. You can solely eat dairy, uh, well if you weren't lactose intolerant like me that is. So uh, since I am lactose intolerant, uh, I, I'm, I have some cream and some butter here today. Uh, in regards to milk, the main difference is it's a better source of protein. I mean, if you, you're lactose intolerant like me, cheese would be your option for the protein content. Today we're gonna taste some heavy cream, some cultured butter, and some regular butter. Uh, all grass-fed, all raw, no salt added to the butter. Uh, so I guess we might as well get started. Um, so we'll start with, I guess we'll do the butters first. Eh, we'll do the cream. And then we'll compare the butters, because that's more to talk about. It's like, uh, <laughs> this. <laughs> it's like solid almost. That's crazy. It's like eating airy butter. That's milder in flavor. I gotta, let me take some of this out. Let's see what's going on. This is like, this is like super thick cream. This is like crazy. And the, the flavor is like this slight, subtle, sweet grassiness. I'm gonna get the rest of this back in the fridge. Cultured butter and regular butter. So, try the regular butter first. And you can kind of note the, the yellowish color on the butter from the grass the cows are eating. So this unsalted butter has like, not it's not as buttery of a flavor as people might be used to. It does have that slight buttery flavor, but there's also a very apparent and equally powerful like barnyardy flavor of grass. And you can really taste that on this butter. Is it good? Eh, it's okay. So this is cultured butter. I don't know if he actually added cultures to this or you just let it lacto ferment somehow I'm I used to know how they make I, I've googled how they make this before but I don't remember what it was but I, th I think what they do is they let the cream or the milk ferment a little bit before churning it there's a a much more pungent smell not I mean it's still not pungent it's very mild but it's noticeably more than the other butter and it's like a slightly funky cheese smell. So the cultured butter has this very like mild cheese like flavor up front and then you get slight notes of butter but unlike a lot of other butter I've had in the past it's weird how raw and unpasteurized butter has a much less prominent butter flavor and that might only, that might just be because the other butters that people are used to eating don't have that prominent flavor of like they don't have the grassy notes they don't have anything else besides that butter flavor so this might not be something that you're used to and, and salted butter is, is it is pretty different than eating unsalted butter that's another thing to keep in mind the flavor notes are much more pronounced in salted butter and it's probably more enjoyable for most people uh, the texture of the first one for some reason coated my mouth a lot more than the second one it, it was the un, the regular butter was almost like a tallowy texture or like you're, you're eating raw beef fat texture where it almost but the butter it almost coats your mouth whereas beef fat would completely coat your mouth and stay there this butter it, it felt like it was about to coat my mouth but then it just i just swallowed it and it didn't it melted um i guess i'll talk i'll talk more about the cream um, I don't really have anything to say about those butters. I think I like the uncultured a little bit more, but maybe I'll just add a little bit of honey to them when I have them. Is it as good as milk? I really like milk, but I can't drink it. So this is this is as close as I'm gonna get, 
and uh, I, th I think it kind of fills the gap. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit of honey to that to make up for the lack of milk sugar. But all in all, these are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin K2, and even uh, determining, depending on the quality of the pasture, a good source of vitamin A as well.